get a phone call saying that it was cancer, which had me like crying. And, you know, I had already lost my husband to liver cancer. And it's, it was just, it had me like lost and thinking, you know, like, what is the next step? What do I do? Because I was just in shock. So I meet with uh, cancer patients in different parts of their cancer journeys. I work in a hospital system that has a lot of health disparities. So there's a lot of patients that are sometimes cancers really in the background of their thoughts. They're just trying to get through today with so many other things going on in their life. Most commonly, the barriers that we see are practical barriers. So transportation, financial barriers, getting the correct information, education that they need to make the best decisions, emotional concerns as well. I end up meeting Melissa Hutchison from the Cancer Society, and she went through the steps of telling me if I needed any numbers, you know, any help with rides, transportation, that she could help me get me all that information. She said that why I focus on getting better for me to, to, to don't worry about the other stuff. The rides were great. There are so many people in our community that need our help. The American Cancer Society is committed to our patient population and providing access to care, getting patients to treatment when they need it. Last year we started a program, a paid transportation program, where if we didn't have a volunteer available and a patient needed to get to treatment, we could access a paid transportation vendor. And this was allowing us to continue the continuum of care for our patients. Being able to get them to treatment is the most important part of providing them with the best outcome for their future. We really need to have funding to extend our transportation program in the future. A direct donation to the American Cancer Society's Road to Recovery transportation program will stay in your community. You're making an impact today with a patient that has cancer. So, you know, giving them peace of mind that they have a way to treatment, which will definitely improve, you know, the treatment outcome. Giving me the ability to have something to help me get, get to A and B and not pay for it is a blessing.